Thank you for your interest in time technologies and for the opportunity to become part of your investment portfolio. We will make forward-looking statement in today's presentation that involves substantial risks and uncertainties, so we direct you to learn more about our risk factors that can be found in our annual report and other periodic filings with the SEC. Time is a different type of biotech company that is boldly pursuing a new approach in the battle against advanced cancers. Our proprietary cancer metabolism-based compounds attack the cancer from within, disrupting the cancer cell's metabolism, which leads to cancer cell death. There are key investment highlights that we would like to share with you during today's presentation. First, Time has been a leader in cancer metabolism research for nearly a decade. During that time, the company has been building and continues to build a broad and deep patent portfolio that consists of nearly 200 applied and or granted patents globally, covering compositions, methods, manufacturing, and use. Also, we believe that our investigational compounds kill cancer cells through multiple mechanisms of action that disrupt the cancer cell's metabolism, and as a result, may lead to better, safer medicines that could benefit cancer patients with advanced cancers. Additionally, we are actively enrolling in three key studies, a pivotal study in third-line pancreatic cancer, a registrational intense study in second-line pancreatic cancer with our partner, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, and a phase two study in high-risk sarcomas. We look forward to data readouts from these studies in 2021 and 2022. The good news is, based on advances in medical innovation, that there are more than 17 million cancer survivors in the U.S., and that number is expected to grow to more than 22 million cancer survivors by 2030. As a result, the number of cancer survivors living with advanced cancers today, with no to limited treatment options, continues to grow at a significant rate. Finally, time has joined the fight against COVID-19 and will begin a proof-of-concept study called the RESPOND study later this year. Time is building a pipeline of next-generation cancer metabolism-based compounds that we believe could change the course of cancer care for patients with advanced cancers. SM88, our lead pipeline candidate, is a proprietary dysfunctional tyrosine amino acid and represents a pipeline within a single compound. Today, SM88 is being developed in early and late stage clinical trials across multiple advanced cancers. In biotech, we all understand that intellectual property is the lifeblood of our industry. That said, Time continues to build a broad, deep, and strong patent portfolio to protect its assets in the U.S. and other major international markets. SM88 is a first-in-class investigational oral therapy that attacks the cancer cell from within using multiple mechanisms of action. As such, SM88 acts as a Trojan horse, selectively disrupting multiple metabolic processes that cancer cells need for survival. Specifically, SM88 is a proprietary modified non-essential tyrosine amino acid that is actively consumed by cancer cells, but not healthy cells. The modified tyrosine enters the cancer cell and disrupts critical protein production that cancer cells need to grow and survive. In addition, cancer cells lose their ability to mitigate rising levels of reactive oxygen species. As a result, the increased oxidative stress and toxicity ultimately triggers apoptotic signaling and leads to cancer cell death. We also believe that SM88 may kill cancer cells through inhibiting autophagy, a process whereby cancer cells recycle their own components to help maintain their growth, as well as through immunomodulation that stimulates T cells, which in turn attack the cancer cells. We are so fortunate to have a compound like SM88 to develop and potentially deliver to cancer patients in need. In 2017, Time took bold moves initiating multiple clinical studies that gave patients with progressing advanced cancers access to SM88. Amazingly, the study results demonstrated that SM88 had confirmed clinical responses in 15 different hard-to-treat advanced tumor types. We also learned that SM88 has monotherapy anti-cancer activity based on confirmed tumor shrinkage and that SM88 has an impressive safety profile with no grade three or higher serious adverse events, a rare feature found in anti-cancer therapies today. Based on these preliminary findings, we are now actively recruiting in multiple trials for pancreatic cancer and high-risk sarcomas, and we are expanding our clinical development program into metastatic breast cancer and biochemically recurrent 
prostate cancer. Clinical results from the part one portion of our Time 88 PANK study were presented at a prestigious international medical meeting, the European Society of Medical Oncology's 21st World Congress on Gastrointestinal Cancers. The study demonstrated a median overall survival of 6.4 months in evaluable patients with advanced pancreatic cancer. These survival results compare very favorably to the analysis of 19 prospective pancreatic cancer trials where the median reported survival after progressing on second-line therapy was only 2 to 2.5 months based on reported historical trials. Importantly, patients who achieved at least resist stable disease had a 92% reduction in risk of death. These clinical findings supported the design of our Time 88 PANC pivotal trial evaluating SM88 in patients with third-line pancreatic cancer that is now underway and enrolling patients. In partnership with the world's largest advocacy group for patients with pancreatic cancer, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, we are now enrolling patients with second-line pancreatic cancer into an adaptive randomized registration intent trial called Precision Promise. The trial is being conducted at highly regarded institutions around the country. We are honored that Times SM88 was chosen as the first experimental therapy in this adaptive design trial and is being evaluated for safety and efficacy as a monotherapy. Sarcomas also represent a great unmet medical need and a significant opportunity for all stakeholders. There are approximately 12,000 patients diagnosed each year who need better, safer treatment options. We are excited about exploring SM88's clinical potential in ultra-rare, high-risk sarcomas through our partnership with Dr. Sanchala and the Joseph Ahmed Foundation. The HOPE sarcoma trial is actively enrolling patients. The primary endpoint is overall response rate, and we anticipate data becoming available in 2021. At major medical meetings, time captured the attention of key thought leaders in the field of prostate cancer when we shared our final phase two data on patients being treated with SM88 for recurrent prostate cancer. At six months, 100% of patients were free of metastatic progression, and 87% of patients remained free of any radiographic progression. These data are important because SM88 demonstrated meaningful clinical results without typical hormone-related side effects. If confirmed in a randomized study, SM88 could postpone the need for hormone therapy and change the current treatment paradigm for patients with biochemically current prostate cancer. Based on earlier studies, we evaluated the clinical findings of approximately 25 patients with metastatic breast cancer. These patients experienced a clinical benefit with a favorable safety profile. The overall response rate was 43% among patients for whom we had results. There was no indication of resistance based on hormone receptor status, prior treatments, or metastatic site. There were no unanticipated or drug-related adverse events. These clinical results are important and promising for patients with metastatic breast cancer and their health care providers who are looking for a new approach and potentially a better option. Based on these findings and strong support from key opinion leaders and their institutions, we are actively pursuing opportunities for the development of SM88 as a potential treatment for patients with advanced metastatic breast cancer. As our industry rushes to develop an effective vaccine against the coronavirus, TIME, based on its cancer research and expertise in bioassets, is working diligently to harness the immune-boosting properties of a naturally occurring bioasset, TIME-19, as another way to protect society against COVID-19. There is an enormous unmet medical need for patients after diagnosis for a safe treatment that would alleviate their symptoms and eliminate the need for them to go to a hospital. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, Time and its collaborating partners at Harvard's Mass General and Weill Cornell Medical Center are advancing a proof of concept study called the RESPOND study to evaluate Time 19 versus placebo in newly diagnosed symptomatic patients with defined high risk factors. The trial will measure specific indicators of safety and efficacy, including time to resolution of symptoms, changes in viral load, rate of hospitalization, and others. Positive results from the proof of concept study could lead to a development program in which Time 19 is studied as a potential new oral treatment for patients with COVID-19 before they require hospitalization and or as a potential prophylaxis for high-risk individuals and frontline workers. The RESPOND trial is expected to start as soon as customary trial site approvals are completed later this year. In conclusion, Time has delivered on multiple accomplishments over the past 12 months. 
and we look forward to delivering on multiple catalysts that may position the company for long-term success over the next 12 months. Thank you for your consideration.